Welcome back to the Captain Sandy and Leah Ray Show. We are so happy to have you back. Also, I want to thank all of you for your ratings, your comments, your reviews. We really appreciate that. And just keep them coming. Yeah. So on this episode, we are going to talk about the questions that we get, which is how do we stay healthy? How do we stay fit within our travel? And okay. well, not so easy because for me, look at me and look at her. That's not true. She could save herself on a cliff. I would not. I would die. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's... Yeah. I can't pull myself up. Well. But it's hard on the road. I mean, I, I would say that's our one of our biggest struggles is the food. Um, for some reason, I feel like we get a little lazy when we travel because we're so exhausted that all you want to do at the end of the day is just like lay in bed and watch Netflix. And eat everything. And eat everything. Why is that? I actually like to work out. I love the gym. I love going to the gym. It makes me, um, having other people work out around me motivates me and it's less, it's easier if I work out at home to stop working out. But when you're at the gym, you have, you're sort of like held accountable because <laughs> other people are also looking to you that encourages them. And then I'll, I bought a soul cycle bike. Yeah. We have a treadmill. Leah has a Pilates reformer. So we use that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a gym person, but when I get there, I like it. I think it's the getting there part for me that is hard. I prefer to just go downstairs, put on my video, um, and do my arms and my abs and then just go upstairs and take a shower. Yeah. So we're very different in that department. Yeah. The other thing is sports. I like sports. So I would rather exercise through water skiing. Leah loves to play golf. I, like I golf. commit golf. I do not play golf. I had, my friend got me a book on golf etiquette because I'm like, better, 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 swing. You're She's like, you can't it, do though. that. I don't know. I'm a seven hole girl. You're just not patient for golf. It's not fast enough for you. I like the camaraderie of everyone. Yeah, but it's not fast enough for you. I start doing cartwheels. Yeah, she starts. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I think it's a slow game. It's, it's a slow it game. It is a very slow game slow. and you have to like it. And so that's okay. You like pickleball? Yeah, pickleball's fun. So we stay in shape because Leah makes celery juice almost every morning. This morning, we had you made a peanut butter protein shake. Protein shake. We went and walked the incline. We always move. Yeah, there's move. something that we do consistently as we move. Yeah, even if it's not at the gym, we move. And if it's just a walk, we walk. That's mm -hmm. the dogs. The key for us is moving, right? Yes. Keep moving forward. Just keep keep doing what you do, but don't eat as much and move a little more, right? So yeah. I have celiac, so I have to, I'm gluten-free, so I have to be careful what I eat. And yeah, I mean, it's hard. She's a late night snacker. And I've changed my ways. Very... Haven't you noticed? I haven't been snacking at night because after you turn 50, then after you turn 55, I'm 57 years young and it's harder to take off. It's food choices though. Like if you want a snack, then have a piece of fruit. Yeah, she not taught Oreos, me that. Oreos, right? You know? I know because I love Oreos. Or I'm just saying Oreos. I know? love Oreos. Oreos. If I have Oreos in the house, I can't sleep without eating them. And mine's Doritos. I can't have Doritos in the house. Yeah. So basically, how do we stay healthy? We don't carry it in our cabinet. Yeah. Mindful eating. Yeah. We love farmer's markets. We we actually ate our best in France. Yeah, we did. Because Leah couldn't eat anything. Because she was <laughs> yeah, so I ate lettuce and vegetables. But I felt so good. And I... I had so much energy and I felt clean and the fruits and vegetables tasted so different over there. So we came home and we went to a farmer's market yeah. and our refrigerator is full of veggies and yeah. fruit and the fruit's actually <laughs> We're really trying good. to eat it really quick because it's going bad really quick. Because it's, you know, organic yeah. and... But we try. Yeah. So how do we do it? We change the way we eat. Yep. We move every day, sometimes move more than others. And today, this morning, we started out with a walk on the Parker Incline. I didn't want to go. But she did. But I did. Wasn't it cool? And after I did it, I'm like, thank God I did it. And then some guy who's like 20 years older than me ran past me. <laughs> That's a motivator. Yeah, and a lady was had her two kids who just gave birth and she's carrying her baby on the front Oh my of gosh, her. she was. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So, so. that's a motivator. Yeah. I honestly have never been one of those sports people, but I do love sports. My thing is water, water, water. Everything in the water I can do, I try. And that keeps me fit. The other part is I, for the most part, eat pretty healthy, right? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's our tips. 
And I hope you liked it because I don't really have any more and I just, I'm hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got to take care of our temple and our body. Cause yeah. It's, and know? every time we work out and eat well, we feel good. Yeah. Every time we eat like crap and we don't work out, we feel, we like feel bad. So if you want to feel good or you want to feel bad? You have a choice. I choose to feel good. What are we going to have for dinner tonight? Lettuce. No, for real. No, seriously. We're going to go Greek. We're going oh, Greek, Greek food, yeah. Yeah, Greek is good. Greek, Greek salad. Food. They have a good chicken. <laughs> so we're excited. Yeah, and lay off the alcohol yeah. for the people that drink because that, that'll get you every time. Oh, yeah. I don't drink, so yeah, that's so. not my issue. I have yeah. good skin for that. So, babe, we know that we, when you're out at sea, people want to know how do you stay healthy on your boat when you're like nonstop. Because I chase the crew all over the boat. <laughs> how can you not? It's like up and down those stairs carrying that provisions that's over-ordered, you know, t- you know, in Europe, they call them lorries. They're semi-trucks. They're called lorries. There's like three of them pulling up. And you're like, that's for our charter. So, so I help. The reason I help to help the crew, but also I help to stay in shape. I wish I could say I hit the gym, but we never have time. It's do you have 24- a gym on board? Most times. Most most yachts do, yes. And do you we get, have you weights. get to use it? Uh, yes, I could. Nice. But I have no energy at the end of the day because I have done all those stairs. Oh, yeah. You know how many stairs are on a boat? And how long that boat is, it's like running a marathon. You know what? I'm going to take my watch this season. I'm going to, go to, I'm going to figure it out. How many, to, how many steps I you do in a day? day. Yeah. yeah. But I do push-ups in my cabin. Do I have that exercise ball. Well, sh- yeah. He like the, but like, I don't ask for special meals. I would. I'd be like, okay, I want this salad. And- They're so in the weeds. I'm just grateful to get what I get, this honestly. Shake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes, if I asked, of course. Um, but I'm so tired, I just. I would ask. I pass out and eat the junk. I try not to, uh, but I do have an exercise ball in my cabin. I do push-ups. It's like in cabin work. Yeah. And then running back and forth on that boat. Yeah. So that's how I do it. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate your support. Please click on the link below. And if you have any questions for us, feel free to record and send it to us. And please subscribe. We appreciate your support and your reviews. And yeah, we're so excited to be doing this podcast to share with all of you. And don't forget... Do the next right thing. Yes, do the next right thing. So go exercise.